In a New York Times piece out today, Republican Congressman Steve King asks how the terms white nationalist and white supremacist became offensive. Amazing. (laughs) Now, these comments come as part of an expansive report from the newspaper on King's hardline views on immigration and how they mirror much of what President Trump has pushed for during his presidency. King's divisive comments about immigration have led to scrutiny in past years. He once tweeted that diversity is not America's strength. In 2018, he also defended his association with the far-right Austrian group with links to the Nazi party and hardline views on immigration. So this was just one in a long line of overtly racist remarks from Steve King. Now, there was some surprising pushback online from a conservative pundit, Ben Shapiro, who tweeted this out. Congress ought to vote to censure him, and then he ought to be primaried as soon as possible. Now... Why is this remark from Ben Shapiro, why is this surprising? Why is it surprising to see Shapiro come out against Steve King? Well, for years, he defended him, including uh, back just in uh, 2017, where Shapiro tweeted out, media accuse Steve King of racism. They're lying. Read his actual words. So (laughs) in the article, Shapiro goes on to write, On Sunday, Steve King tweeted about the upsurge of Muslim immigration to Europe by citing the growing electoral popularity of Dutch right-winger Gert Wilders. Here's what he tweeted. Wilders understands that culture and demographics are our destiny. We can't restore our civilization with somebody else's babies. You have to be pretty damn stupid or just dishonest to not recognize that Steve King is clearly being racist. Now, to his credit, Shapiro now recognizes that Steve King was being racist back then. So uh, someone on Twitter uh, replied to him saying, more specifically, Ben, if I said that King's someone else's baby's line was racist, do you still think I'm a liar? And Shapiro tweeted, no, I don't. I thought his comment was interpretable in two ways, as I wrote. In In light of his new comments, my title was wrong, and I'll add a correction to the piece. So this is commendable of someone to come out and admit, yeah, I was wrong. But Shapiro (laughs) is wrong all the time, and he admits that he's wrong all the time. So there is even a web page dedicated to all the things that he no longer agrees with titled, so here is a giant list of all the dumb stuff I've ever done. Don't worry, I'll keep updating it, which on one hand is great, but on the other hand, it shows you how often Ben Shapiro is wrong. I mean, this is a long article. And oddly, that page doesn't mention his support for the Iraq war, where in 2005, he argued, why war in Iraq is right for America. Now, look, it's one thing if you're just young and dumb, you had some stupid opinions back then, but now you've learned, you've grown, you have a new worldview, and you recognize that, yeah, I said some dumb shit back then, but now I'm this new person with this this new outlook. But that's not who Ben Shapiro is. (laughs) Ben Shapiro is the same guy. And he is consistently wrong to this day, as I showed you with just back in 2017 when he was wrong about Steve King not being a racist. So this is supposed to be one of the up-and-coming conservative intellectuals. Yet Ben Shapiro is so wrong that he had to make a webpage about all the things that he's been wrong about. And he continues to add to that list. How could anybody possibly trust somebody with this kind of track record? If you are consistently wrong on issues, yeah, look, I, I commend him for admitting when he's wrong about things. That's good. But he is wrong all the time. So how can you trust him on issues now if one day he will likely come out and say, oh, yeah, I was also wrong about that? This is not somebody anybody should be listening to for information on any topic because of how wrong, consistently wrong Ben Shapiro is. So all I want to do is... Have people understand this. Understand that if for some reason you listen to Ben Shapiro, understand that even he himself has admitted that he's been wrong all the time. So if you read Ben Shapiro to this day or listen to Ben Shapiro right now, understand that whatever he is saying, there's a good chance he's also wrong about that.